He's a lifelong resident of Weaver County. Uh, lives right can practically see his place from out from here. And uh, I see everything from here. Yeah. <laughs> and I just simply think the world of it. It's uh, it's not always smart in politics to go against an incumbent, and I've been advised against doing that. But uh, sometimes it simply needs doing, and this is one of those times. So without further ado, I'll give you Harry Gibson and uh, give him some tough questions. <laughs> he he always you. has. Thank you, Senator Prince. I appreciate that kind introduction. Uh, I have had the wonderful opportunity to uh, work with Senator Christensen, and it's been it's been a great opportunity. But, uh, you want me to explain that how that works a little bit? They, uh, to do ride-alongs and to see the day-to-day -day operations of, of what those people do. They're, they're important public servants and we need to, we need to respect what they need. Uh, and uh, I, think, uh, I think this new energy that I'm hoping to bring to the Commission office will show, will show in that manner because we'll be out there, we'll be meeting with these people, writing with these people, talking with them, and seeing the things that are important to them uh, I think earlier on. We'll be able to identify some of those problems. Obviously, the sheriff will be a, an independently elected office, but they're going to come to the county commission for the budget, and, and I guarantee they'll, they'll feel the squeeze, just like everyone else will. Karen, in, in yeah. talking about the sheriff and the budgets and having to work closely with the sheriff, um, out of the candidates currently, who do you feel you'd be able to best work with? Um, you know, I've avoided that question <laughs> at these public meetings because the reality is uh, I feel like the most, important, uh, the most important thing for me is to bring about change at the commission level. I know that there's one, well, yeah, sorry, did I say that word? <laughs> change, it's important, but not that kind of change. Okay? <laughs> oh, we change you stuff. <laughs> somebody, somebody shuddered. <laughs> And uh, I, I expect uh, that I can work uh, with either of the candidates for sheriff. Um, I, I think that uh, that, that race has become very contentious, as you know, and, uh, and probably uh, for good reason. But because they're an independently elected office, uh, I think it is more fair to the process to let that race play out uh, on its merits. Um, I very, very seldom uh, offer an open endorsement. Our, our Weber County budget, because I like what you said. If we can reduce the budget, we've been spending too much money. So now, would you put the pressure on across the board to continue to reduce that and to look for better ways to do the job so that the pressure is where it needs to be and not on the front lines for the guys doing the job. Absolutely. The answer is yes. I mean, any time that we, uh, in, uh, uh, no matter what level of government we're at, mm -hmm. you have to be constantly looking for new ideas, mm -hmm. new ways, new things that, that can be done to be more efficient. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know how to answer it any simpler. The answer is yes, we, we need to do this. Fair enough. Things. Last question. What else, what could you tell us is distinguishing you from your competition, apart from the fact that you're a good guy and you'll work real hard and you have good moral ethics, what could you tell us that sets you apart from your competition, please? Can I answer that for you? Go ahead. I, I, love, I love when people answer that. You don't have to brag that way. Yeah. That's great. My daughter is a foster parent. And DCFS came into her home for no reason other than the fact that she wanted to adopt this little boy and have him sealed to him and took him out of her home. And this little boy was taken and put in a hospital where he didn't know where he was. He's extremely mentally handicapped. He can't walk. He can't talk. He can't function. And he was taken out. My daughter called Carrie and said, Carrie, can you help me? And Carrie said, it may cost me my job, but I will. And Carrie went to bat for this little boy and for my daughter, and we fought and we fought, and Carrie tried 
and he went to bat for us and he put his his job on the line and he did everything he could to help us. And because of Carrie, this little boy is back in our home now and he's going to be adopted in a few days and it's all because of Mr. Gibson here. And he is the one that will go to bat for you. He's the one that will stand up for you. He's the one that will do these things for you. You know, he could have lost his position in the Senate. He could have done all these things. He, he could have been, he, he really will stand up for you. And that's... That's great. That's great. I, I, I'm thankful for that uh, compliment. But that was one of the most uh, rewarding things that I had the opportunity to be a part of in the House. And... That's why, you know, that, that's why we serve, that's why I serve, is to, to hope that I can leave a better place for my children, but I truly care for the people I represent. And this family, uh, they'll, they'll never know. Uh, they help, it helped me more than I helped them. I hope they understand that. But thank you for, thank you for that.